Hello students, hope you all are keeping well at home. Okay, so let's get start with new chapter. Chapter 3, Taro's Reward. Taro's Reward. Now this story is a very beautiful story of a devoted son. He lives with his old parents. Actually he is a woodcutter. Understood? I will give you a short glimpse of this chapter, a short summary of this chapter. He is a woodcutter. He lives with his old parents. Now, he wanted to give a very comfortable life to his parents. Now, one day what happened? His father expresses his wish to have a cup of sake. Sake means Japanese drink, which is very expensive. Now, the son realizes that it's very expensive and he is after all a, a, a woodcutter. He does not earn uh, that much. So, it, it worried, understood. The wish of his father worried him and then he started working day and night in order to earn to buy sake for his father. Now, what happened one day when he was working, when he was chopping the wood, he heard water falling. He soon goes there and then he realizes, when he drinks it, he realizes that it is not water. It is sake, a Japanese drink. Now, this news spread around the village and as soon as they got this message, this news, all the villagers rushed towards the waterfall. But for the villagers, it tasted like a normal water. Why so? Why the same water tasted as sake for the sun and not for the villagers? So here is a secret. Now I am not disclosing it. If I disclose it, then there won't be anything in the chapter then. So, let's read and understand and let's disclose the secret, the mystery behind it. Okay? Let's read the chapter. Okay? Taro's Reward A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. All day long, he chopped wood in the forest. Though he worked very hard, he earned very little money. This made him sad, for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his old parents everything they needed. One evening, when Taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their hut, a strong wind began to blow. It whistled through the cracks of the hut and everyone felt very cold. Suddenly, Taro's father said, I wish I had a cup of sake. It would warm me and do my old heart good. This made Taro sadder than ever. For the heartwarming drink called sake was very expensive. How do I earn more money? He asked himself, how do I get a little sake for my poor old father? He decided to work harder than before. Next morning, Taro jumped out of bed earlier than usual and made his way to the forest. He chopped and cut, chopped and cut as the sun climbed and soon he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket. His mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat. My poor old father, he thought, if only he was as warm as I. And with that, he began to chop even faster, thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man's bones. Then suddenly, Taro stopped chopping. What was that sound he heard? Could it be, could it possibly be rushing water? 
Taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest. He was thirsty. The axe dropped out of his hands and he ran in the direction of the sound. Taro saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock. Kneeling at a place where the water flowed quietly, he cupped a little in his hands and put it to his lips. Was it water or was it sake? He tasted it again and again and always it was the delicious sake instead of cold water. Taro quickly filled the pitcher he had with him and hurried home. The old man was delighted with the sake. After only one swallow of the liquid, swallow of the liquid, he stopped shivering and did a little dance in the middle of the floor. Let's understand the chapter paragraph wise. Let's start with the first para. A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his mother and father on a lonely hillside. All day long he chopped wood, chopped, cut into pieces. That what was his job, to cut the wood into pieces. In the forest, though he worked very hard, he earned very little money. Lots of hard work, lots of effort and little earning. This made him sad for he was a thoughtful son and wanted to give his old parents everything they needed. So he wanted to fulfill all the wishes of his old parents. But because of less earning, he was not able to reach all the sites. So that made him very sad. Second para. One evening when Taro and his parents were sitting in a corner of their hut. They had a kacha house, no, not a pakka one. Okay, so they used to live in a hut. A strong wind began to blow. You can imagine what will happen to the hut. Blow means cause to move. Aane laga. Hawa, jor ki hawa aane laga. Then it whistled through the cracks, you know, hut in between. It is made up of grass, bamboo, wood. So there are small, small pores, understood? So from inside those pores, the wind was getting inside the hut, from the, through the cracks of the hut. And everyone felt very cold because heavy wind was blowing and then when the heavy wind is blowing directly inside the hut, then the people sitting inside will obviously feel very cold, isn't it? Okay. Now, what do you mean by whistled? Whistled through means passed through with a whistling sound. When the wind blows, we hear the sound. So, that sound is known as whistled. Whistled through. Through means passed through the hut. And from the crack that is there on the hut. Okay. Suddenly, Taro's father said, I wish I had a cup of sake because he was feeling very cold. And... By mistake, you know, he expressed his wish to his son that Kash mere pass a cup of sake. Sake means a Japanese juice. What do you mean by sake? Sake means a popular Japanese drink which is very expensive in order to warm the body. Because that father was feeling very cold because of the heavy wind blowing and coming inside the hut. So he wished to have a cup of sake. Now, it would warm me and do my old heart good because he is old. So his heart is also very weak. So he is saying that if I have a cup of uh, sake, a Japanese drink, it will warm my body. This made Taro sadder than ever. For the heartwarming drink, cold sake was very expensive. As soon as he came to know about the father's wish, 
he became very sad realizing that sake is very expensive and he is earning very little sum of money so what do you mean by heartwarming heartwarming means feelings of happiness understood feeling of happiness feeling of happiness for whom for his father now how do i earn more money he asked himself how do i get a little sake for my poor old father he decided to work harder than before now fourth para next morning taro jumped out of bed earlier because he decided the previous day that he has to earn more so he wake up very early and made his way to the forest and started moving to the forest he chopped and cut chopped and cut as the sun climbed till afternoon understood as the sun climbed means till afternoon when it is right over our head that is called sun climbed till afternoon and soon he was so warm because it was very cold isn't it outside it's very cold and he worked from morning till afternoon and he was so warm that he had to take off his jacket so he took out his jacket take off means to take out understood he took out his jacket now his mouth was dry because he is working since morning he is working so he is feeling very thirsty and his face was wet with sweat sweat means pasina pasine se pura geela ho gaya understood my poor old father he thought if only he was as warm as i if only he was as warm as i he thought that he wished that his father could also warm up himself as he is doing but since he is very old he can't come out of his hut and do any kind of activity so he has to stay at one place and he is he is feeling very cold inside the hut he can't even move from there because he is very old he can't do any work if you do some work it give warmth to your body so as he was cutting and chopping and the wood he is warming himself so he is wishing that his father also could warm himself but it's not possible because he is old and with that he began to chop even faster thinking that he has to fulfill his father's wish he started chopping faster and faster thinking of the extra money he must earn to buy the sake to warm the old man's bones to to give warmth to his father he started chopping even faster in order to earn extra money additional money then suddenly taro stopped chopping what was that sound he heard he heard some sound understood some kind of sound could it be could it possibly be rushing water rushing means flowing water taro could not remember ever seeing or hearing a rushing stream in that part of the forest he is working there from many years and he had never and ever before he heard the or he has seen the rushing stream in that part of the forest so he is very um he is very surprised from where the sound is coming it it is of rushing stream but uh, but as far as my memory is concerned i have never seen or i have never heard about the water falling here in this part he was thirsty the axe dropped kulhadi axe means he was chopping with that tool understood so he put that aside and he ran in the direction of the sound and he um, uh, followed the sound from where the sound was coming he followed that sound he followed to the direction of the sound okay now sixth para taro saw a beautiful little waterfall hidden behind a rock he saw a little waterfall hidden behind chupa hua behind a rock behind means back side of rock 
kneeling at a place kneeling at a place kneeling means bending on knees gutno ke bal baithna understood where the water flowed quietly he cupped a little in his hands cupped took some water in his hands he kneeled down and he took some water in his hands then and put it to his lips he tasted it was it water or was it sake he tasted it again and again because it tasted something different and always it was the delicious sake instead of cold water so he tasted and again and again because it was not tasting like water so he tasted it again and again and then he realized that it was delicious tasty sake japanese juice instead of cold water taro quickly filled the pitcher 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 means a pot usually made of mud a mud pot so he immediately filled it because he thought of his father's wish of having a cup of sake so he immediately and hurried home jaldi se ghar gaya the old man was delighted with the sake the old man became very happy when he saw the sake after only one swallow of the liquid swallow eat quickly ek hi goot mein peena understood he drank it immediately he stopped shivering as soon as he had that juice the japanese juice he stopped shivering shivering means trembling with cold and did a little dance because that juice gave him lots of energy and he was very happy and out of happiness he started dancing in the middle of the floor now moving on to answer the following questions these two questions are from the paragraphs which i had already explained you so let's get start with the first question Why did Taro run in the direction of the stream? Taro ran in the direction of the stream because he was thirsty first of all because he was working since morning. Secondly, he had never heard before the sound of falling water in that area. He had never seen, never heard before such water falling. Next, how did Taro's father show his happiness after drinking sake? Sake gave warmth as well as energy to the old man. Taro's father stopped shivering, trembling because it was very cold and started dancing because his wish came true. In this way he showed his happiness. Now that's all for today children. Write down these answers in your notebook. Learn it. Take care.